Hello and welcome to Trains in Vietic and today we're looking at this a DR4018 by DigiRails. I know I have done a setup of this before using it to control uh, lights in my buildings but after some research and further um, developments and research I have found that this has so many more potential so today we're actually going to go through unbox and you and go through all the different ways you can use this so let's start the title This is a DR4018 uh, by DigiRail, DigiSwitch 16 channels. I think this could be the best decoder out there and the best bang for the buck as well. Um, this is a 16 channel decoder or a 8 switch decoder. So I'll take this out for bots and then I'll tell you how much you can actually get one of these units for so you can work out for pricing. So really nice bots. You have the uh, instructions. You, you have the unit. And then for some reason I have another set of uh, instructions. The instruction come in four different languages and the best thing to do is to actually download the latest instructions. On the unit you have a power input, a signal input, a program, a light and then you've got eight lots of three terminals. So you've got output 1C2, 3C4, so on. And the way I'm using this on my layout is light 1, light 2, common return. But this can be used for many more options. You, you can use this to do Point, point switches, you can use this for both two, both a uh, switch type, so for picos, and you can also use this for slow action, but you need an uh, accessory to put in here, which is a three pin to two pin to, uh, converter. You can also use this to run your signals on your layout, easily a red and a green. Or with another unit, which should, for num product number should be underneath, you can use four outputs to run uh, up to a four aspect signal with a correct board. So, so this is really powerful. You can also run a crossing gates from this with lights on the crossing gates. So I'll pause the camera and find out the price and exactly what can be done with this. I've got my iPad here and here you can see the switch motor interface, so that's two wires for the switch motor, three wires for the decoder, of a common cathode to common anode adapter. And the website is so easy to use. 
and you can download menus without even trying. So all the uh, manuals are easy to download. You just click, choose your language, choose your language, and then it takes you onto um, the um, Google Drive for them. So this is really, really good website, really good customer service. So just a quick search, they vary between 30 and 36 pounds, which is very good considering everything you get from it. So on the bottom, you have two different ways of powering it. You can either power it from your DCC system so that would daisy chain DCC signal into signal and then to your power or you can have power in one side signal in the other then to set it up in whichever mode you want the instructions come with easy to use instructions So you start off with your description here and all the systems it can work with in the different programming modes. And then it gives you all your instructions. So this unit come as default 1328. Uh, and it comes as a switch into code of, as standard. But if you're like me and didn't want to use it as a um, to run your points but to run your lights, it had easy ways to adjust it. I'll quickly re reread for instructions so um yep i'll come back to you in a moment so to program this up on your controller set it to loco nine 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 so that's four nines Make sure that you have the signal and programming on the same wire. Uh, then on your decoder, go into program on the main on main mode. Press your button until the LED goes on. Then you can modify it so you would change whichever CV you want. So if you want to set this to control lights, you would change address CV address 47 and value of one. So this have several options, eight turnouts, that's zero, 16 on off lights, which is one. Eight two light signals with fade effect. Eight AHOBs, which I don't know what they are. Two groups of eight fluorescent lights. So that's only two outputs, but eight lights. Ducks, Dutch three light signals. DB main signal, DB pre signaling. Combined of two different signaling types. Uh, and many others. But one of the features most interesting about this is if you go to the high number CVs, you can actually address each set of outputs to do what you want. So 
for this you can have uh, doing your motor, doing your light, doing your building light, doing your signal. So this is a really advanced decoder. If you're programming on the programming check to get feedback on this so that you can com communicate with your uh, command signal you need a resistor between pin 1 and the first pin C and that has to be uh, between 170 and 2 no 150 and 270 ohm resistor this then means that the decoder can feed back to for your DCC system so it can read CVs there are a few CVs which can't be read from, from this also, when you change this to a whole mode, so I mean in changing it from switch decoder to light decoder, it will re potentially reset all your addresses. So this is a brilliant little decoder. I always like decoders where you can power it separately to your DCC signal. The only improvement in my opinion for this would be to add a local net um, on it. That is something which I like because if I have a short circuit on my layout I still have local net running. But the other option is to have short circuit detection set up properly and that then allow you to change your points so I have the points on a separate circuit to the rest of the layout and either have the rest of have all the, out, all the outputs from for track on a switch so you can turn them off change your point and then turn everything back on so for me this is a brilliant decoder I love this decoder and this is one which I will be using more of I currently have three of these, but finding all the things that this can do, this is just an amazing little piece of kit. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. Hi to you, my old subscribers. And I'll see you all on Wednesday at eight o'clock for my live stream. So thank you everybody for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all on Wednesday. Thank you very much, Richard.